Okay, yesterday I showed the uh, HHO producing a little bit of HHO and the gauge was hardly moving. So I added a lot more electrolyte and uh, the electrolyte is actually 100% lye. 100% lye. Not some drain openers are part lye, it's 100% lye. But you could see, see that bubbler? I don't know what the hell that's putting out, but it's, it's doing quite a bit. <laughs> and the gauge. It's got it's on its own mounting bracket. Um, probably gonna put something around these hoses to protect them a little bit better, but that's about it. Um, and I got two wires to put on here. One to this, I was just messing around with this gauge and electrolyte and trying to get it to run better. I actually took the water down in the bubbler to about halfway. Um, because it was pushing water up into the line you don't want that coming into the carburetor so it's actually just pumping out a lot of freaking um, HHO now I don't know what that is but and there's a lot of people exaggerate on here and I don't really know I didn't measure it but just looking at the size of those bubbles that's a pretty good size hose it's about a 3 8 hose going down in there and you know I don't want to exaggerate but I think that's at least a liter a minute I think it is this thing is actually going to kick some ass for this freaking little engine so anyway the gauge is installed I made a little um, plastic holder out of a um, what do you call it a paint cop top can and it's in there pretty solid it's got a big bolt you can see it down on the bottom holding the bracket in and uh, it's got a few pop rivets holding it in and stuff like that so um, it should be pretty solid. It should be pretty solid. It's a pretty solid setup, man. It's not. It's not going nowhere, man. You know, this this thing is. It's in there solid. The brackets are in there solid. But I just want to show you. The gauge did work. I was wondering if it didn't. It was hardly moving. It was producing some HHO. But you can see what it does. at about now. It's a 30 amp system. So, 20 amps, no problem. No, no problem. I didn't really quite want to run it that fast, but. It's uh, it's doing a nice, it's doing a hell of a number, man. You can see it coming out here. See it? That's that's freaking flying, man. And what the bubbler does is, besides it um, working as an extra protection against, like, say, if you had a backfire in the carb, uh, it would protect it because you know it's not going to go through here to that container. What it's also doing is taking some of the electrolyte out of. You know, if any electrolyte gets in this solution, it's going into just plain water, and it's removing it, and it's giving you a real clean HHO. So look at that production. That's pretty damn good. And you know, that's that's basically all you got to do is keep a gallon of distilled water with you, and every once in a while, put a little distilled water, and the electrolyte doesn't go away. So um, that's this is a kick-ass unit. This is from uh, Liberty Industries. So anyway, I just want to show it to you. With the gauge installed and uh, producing, now this is not even full output, but that's it's probably about a safe output because if it, under certain conditions, as this water dissipates, the amps will go up, and so you want to have it a little lower. Actually, what you really want to have in these damn things is a constant voltage type of um, circuit. So if you set it on 20 amps. As everything heats up and the water goes down, it doesn't go up higher. It stays right at 20 amps. And it'll keep the production consistent. But uh, this thing is a kick-ass unit, man. That's a hell of a lot of production coming out of this little puppy. So anyway, just want to make a quick update. I'm going to be working on this some more probably tonight. Probably just put the one wire on there and uh, finish it up tomorrow with the uh, starter wire and the fuse. And um, start doing some tests. See what kind of mileage this puppy gets. It's going to take me a while to figure out what the mileage is, but um, I'm figuring with production like this, it might be about, with a simple carburetor set up like this, it might be about 20% higher. And that's damn well worth it. <laughs>